Manchester by the Sea is located on Cape Ann, 25 miles north of Boston. It rose to prominence during the Gilded Age as an idyllic summer resort. From 1845 to 1929, wealthy families amassed great fortunes as a result of the Industrial Revolution. They were looking to spend summers on grand estates away from the heat and the congestion of the cities. Manchester became a destination for lavish living. Yachts, country clubs, and massive summer hotels and private estates provided well-heeled summer residents arriving from Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., Chicago, and Pittsburgh an elite lifestyle. Geographically, Manchester continues to provide everything people want for a recreational lifestyle, including sandy beaches, a beautiful protected harbor for boating, and a dramatic coastline. Offshore islands for yachting excursions, plus regular train transportation that travels to and from Boston, providing modern Manchesterites with a convenient means of commuting. The community is culturally rich and vibrant, with its own yacht club, country club, fine restaurants, shops, and an excellent school system. Most notably Singing Beach, with its rocky outcropping called Eagle Head, and its pure white sand, verifiably sings a few notes on the musical scale and draws families seeking relief from the summer heat. In 1867, John Town from Philadelphia started purchasing land in Manchester for the purpose of constructing a summer residence. In 1869, he built a large estate on Eaglehead Rock, overlooking the local islands and the Atlantic Ocean. This property was bought by James McMillan 30 years later, and then again in 1921, it was purchased by Ina Morris, a well-known socialite who entertained notables including the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. In 1950, the estate was sold and subdivided. Today, there are 19 private homes that share the original property. The Enclave shares the original entrance to the old estate, and each enjoys deeded rights to access Singing Beach. This home at 15 Eaglehead Road is the original barn built by James McMillan to house his horses and cows. Adjacent to the barn, he built an extensive kennel for the property's hounds and poultry house. The Wood Kellys purchased the barn in 1956 and converted it into their home. Ann Wood was from Philadelphia and she learned to fly during her civilian pilot training program at Bowdoin College. During World War II, she traveled to the UK and was one of the 27 American women ferry pilots of the British Air Transport Auxiliary. She later became the first woman staff vice president for Pan American World Airlines. The vintage Pan Am world map defines the entry foyer of the home. The structure provides historical fascination and plenty of pedigree. Its abundant and versatile space is ready for some fresh reinvention to meet the demands and taste of modern homeowners. Like many of the unique and elite neighborhoods on the North Shore, there is little owner turnover. This property is a rare opportunity to become part of the history of Eaglehead in Manchester. This property can be viewed by appointment. <laughs> 